Alright YouTube, it's the Shadow King King Nazu here with a review for Rosario Vampire Chapter 36. A girl has taken a bus to the Yukai Academy and says she will discover its mysteries, I mean mysterious secrets for uh, uh, for the sake of her family. And because, let's face it, uh, Yokai Academy is not the poster child of normality. It's October 30th and Mocha is in the festival uh, telling her friends that she apparently has three sisters. And uh, of these uh, four girls, she's the uh, the third, uh, the third eldest of the four girls, and I'm, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be important in the story later on. Probably not too far along, in fact. Uh, anyway, uh, Scooney uh, was worried uh, Mocha didn't have any parents since they apparently didn't attend, uh, but now he's starting to wonder why they aren't they attending. Uh, and I'm sure that's also going to be a huge, another plot point. Uh, then Yukri asks if uh, Skuni has any siblings, uh, to which he says he's an only child, but he has a cousin who is like a sister to him. Uh, and he says uh, uh, his older cousin is Kuyo, or Kiao, or... I'm, I'm sorry, I'll... Sorry about the translation. We'll just call her Kiao. And... No, wait, Kiyo. Yeah, Kyo. We'll stick with that. And uh, he li he lives nearby her cousin, uh, and she's taking care of him in place of her parents. That's why he has such a close bond to her. Uh, then uh, when he's describing her, she he uh, points out to a girl in the crowd, and says she looks similar to her. And then he realizes that it's Kyo, and uh, Kyo spots. Skune at the same time. Kyo says uh, she was completely worried about him, and uh, Skune wonders why. Uh, Kyo tells uh, tells that Skune hasn't contacted her in a long time, and plays a guilt trip by uh, mentioning embarrassing child moments. See, kids, communication is important. It is everything. Uh, then Kyo says uh, she uh, finds it suspicious that Yokai Academy uh, wasn't on the map, and the uh, address given to that school led to an empty parking lot. Hmm. Wow, you gotta give it to the exorcist. He sure knows how to cover his tracks. Kyo uh, says a woman uh, told, uh, told, uh, told about the school festival and in, ex in exchange for the information, she wants uh, uh, Kyo to deliver an envelope. And I'm sure that this woman is nobody we've met and has absolutely nothing significant to the plot outside of this little mention. So, uh, Skune is worried that uh, should anyone find out Kyo is a human uh, and is above all investigating the school, uh, she'll be uh, killed according to the rules. Kyo uh, warns if she finds anything suspicious, uh, she'll tell, she'll uh, take Skune away from the school. Kyo continues to uh, search the school, uh, being borderline paranoid in her investigation, uh, seeing things as suspicious when they're really not. Uh, Skune and Mocha. Um, who have separated before um, Skune caught up with um, Kyo uh, says they both, they all, th all three of them resolve to uh, keeping Yokai Academy secret from her. And to ruin that plan, Kurumu pounces on Skune wearing a maid outfit while the other girls try to say not to do this, but to no avail. Uh, Kurumu starts trying to seduce Skune. Uh, with her outfit, including showing off her butt and tail. And, uh, fortunately, Yukari summons a. Sorry about that. Okay, I think somebody got that. Okay, so, uh, 
Yukari summons a gold tub to fall on Kuruma's head, and take, and she manages to take her uh, to a local to a secluded place before Cleo can notice. And Skuni uh, takes her away before she, before she even has the chance to. Uh, Skuni and Kyo uh, run to Mizre, and she assumes it's another one of Skuni's love, new lovers, and threatens to freeze him if. Uh, he goes overboard, and she even freezes a fish, for example. <coughs> <coughs> Boy, I sure hope Peter doesn't go on Akihisa Akita. Uh, and then Yukri silences uh, Misery with the t with the gold tub, and does the same with Miss Nekonami, Ruby, and Gen when they try to talk to Skinny about uh, abnormal things. Uh, Mocha, uh, in the closet, explains the situation to everybody, and, um, back to Skinny and Kyo, Kyo starts asking what's going on, uh, especially with the Gotos and the weird people, and Skinny, uh, spots the Yakuza, uh, from the last chapter, and hides, fr hides him and his, uh, cousin from them, and, Kyo figures out that the alumni is in the Yakuza, and he is uh, seeking a vengeance against Skune. Uh, Kyo says uh, she know, knows Skune is lying about something and suspects the school is strange, and tells the girls to stop hiding. Never trust the girls to play hide and seek. Kyo uh, looks at the girls' strange, uh, I mean, strange attire, and thinks the school is a uh, is a training school for girls of the sex entertainment. Um, she's <laughs> and she even goes so far as to say she's seen this stuff in a ma in a manga. Oh, I love meta humor. And Kyo refuses to accept uh, all this and says that she uh, plans to take Skuni away from the school forever. Uh, Skuni others try to explain, but. Uh, the Yakuza comes by and, uh, says he's going to come after Skinny and kill him. Uh, the girls, uh, promise to hold off the Yakuza while the, while the two escape. And Kyo notices, uh, how strong Skinny is, uh, being able to carry him, I mean, carry her and, uh, run at blinding speed. Uh, saying that it makes him feel very manly. Not, not an incestuous way, just out of respect. Uh, then Skuni starts hearing some gunfire when they uh, finally stop and tells Kyo to wait uh, while the, he helps the girls. Kyo uh, doesn't want uh, doesn't want Skuni to be in danger, but Skuni says he usually is in danger, and his friends help him get through it. He probably should have let that danger part out because that's kind of hurting his argument, but. Hey, we'll do what you do. The uh, Yakuza uh, uh, says he has a special gun that can kill even monsters, and threatens to send them to all to heaven uh, if they don't bring Skune. The girls do do nothing, and the Yakuza starts turning into his monster form, which just looks about the same except with a uh, more pronounced forehead and some saber tooth like. Uh, a tusk. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. And, uh, and then, uh, fortunately for the girls, Skune, uh, manages to save the girls by turning into vampire form and kicking the Yakuza. I'm sensing that there's going to be so, some consequences towards Skune, uh, using his powers so frivolously. Uh, Kyo uh, sees Skinny with the gun, and tries to exp and he tries to explain this that he didn't shoot uh, the Yakuza, but she says she doesn't want to hear a word because uh, he asked her to trust him, and she's going to do do just that. Uh, she says she'll believe in him even if he's becoming a Yakuza, and no, no, in case you're you're new, he's not becoming a Yakuza. Uh, 
Then we cut to Squinny uh, asking about what the envelope is for, and Kyo says someone uh, well, was told that someone would come and take it, according to the woman. And Squinny grabs the envelope, and then an earthquake occurs, but the earthquake is not caused naturally, but by a, a giant frog monster. Uh, I do not have, I have no idea why I'm acting surprised by that. Overall, I'd say this was a pretty good chapter. Uh, I've seen little hints of of something being built bigger when we uh, head into the next uh, few chapters, which will be the end of the Rosario Vampires uh, Year One uh, story, and head on to Rosario Vampire Two. So uh, I hope you tune in with me next time.